Good day to you. I am Keegan Michael Key, and I am Jordan Peele, and we are Key and Peele from yes. Comedy Central. We are hosting today. Uh, we're, yes, equals and three we, and Key. Maybe and we Peele should be on Key. the other okay, side. Do the side. Okay, here we go. Yes. Switch. So that now you know. Dusty Do. Key Peele. Okay. But now, now I'm uncomfortable. So let's do it one more time. Okay, one more time. Okay, okay. here we go. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. So let's get into these videos. We've got a video featuring the greatest sport known to mankind. Dodgeball. Yeah, it's called Insane Dodgeball Kill, and I'm just really glad that I didn't go to elementary school with this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I would jump off that wall if it was real. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Please my. notice that he jumped over the ball. Yes. He dodged. The dude threw the ball, the ball. at him. My man went straight Neo on it. Oh, no. God. Are you crying right now? It's just, it's dodgeball. You OK? He gets it really just, passionate about sports, but this is, I've never seen this. It just cuts me to the bone. It's just that the flip is practical. It's a practical flip. To bring yourself together, it's okay? It's so good. This dude over here is dying because the shot is so beautiful. Look, a guy just died. Oh, and I love how this guy in the mm -hmm. back has his shirt off like he mm -hmm. just got here from playing a real sport. It's all dudes there, man. It's all just guys. It's a sausage fest. Why do you have your shirt off? And you're not even that cut anyway. Knock off the carbs, pal. Don't be so presumptuous. You son of a bitch. Here's what I don't understand. Why didn't the guy just step to the left? Babe, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. Why waste all that energy? Well, so that he could drown in dodgeball pussy, oh. which I, I believe is actually technically dick. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. he is still drowning, and that's what counts. That's what counts, yes. As long as you're drowning in some kind of genitalia. Okay, this video comes to us from France, and it features a bird with some medical problems. <laughs> Seriously, is there a more beautiful sight than a crow alighting into the air with a big old fat blunt in his mouth? If it wasn't the ugliest bird on the earth on that man's shoulder, maybe. I mean, it could be a parakeet smoking a hookah. Mm. Oh, yeah. How about a robin on Zac Efron's shirtless mm. body? You know what, the bird doesn't even have to be there. Mm -hmm. Who's the bird? Mm -hmm. Look, I know we're quick to judge the French, but they are innovating the drug trade I mean, over when there. You think about it, how do you catch a drug dealer who's flying? You can't. Do you know how many joints a pelican can fit in its beak? Oh, probably several. Several hundred. Plus, mm -hmm. very anatomically similar to a bong, a pelican. <sighs> That's the very chamber, true. Mm -hmm. the carb. Mm -hmm. Just get it in there. It's got the water. So it's like a water bong. I want to smoke out of a pelican. Oh God, that would be amazing. Now this man makes a terrible mistake towards the end of this video. Look at this here. He tries to get his joint back, but in the process, he scares the crow off while it still has the blunt in its beak. That's on you. Patience, dude. Okay, that crow was going to pass to the left. See, that's on you. That's on you. Wait for the puff puff pass. The that's on you. The French should know how to smoke weed. That's on you. This is called Deadliest Legs Ever, and it was submitted by a user named Zach Stevens 92 Thank you, Zach. So this is a clip from some Turkish film, and the translated dialogue is pretty funny, so we'll do our best reading for you. <laughs> Handsome men's coming. My principle is, if you're a hit does not strike me, I'm doesn't strike too. Now I you! <laughs> <laughs> That's real! That's an actual okay. movie. Okay, all right, two things I noticed about this guy right off the bat. Number one, he has extremely loud fists. <laughs> Number two, really, really bad breath. Oh, yeah. I need a shot of the this. Okay, so, so there's karate. Mm -hmm. There's jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. there's taekwondo, martial arts, and then there's just kicking a lot. And we're gonna get real with you for a second. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we get along, but yeah. when the two of us fight, it looks a hell of a lot like this video. Wait, <laughs> Keegan, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Keegan, <laughs> you still, <laughs> you haven't <laughs> hit me once. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't. Mm. Oh, no, not this. Like this. Oh, my That's God. That's usually how we fight. He usually blows me at the end. This guy looks like he can kick my ass and sell me a used car at the same time. Do you not want to buy this car? No. No, I f***ed you. Okay, I'll just take it. Bingo. This dude is awesome. awesome, okay? It's like the most interesting man in the world had a baby with Chuck Norris, and he ended up with superpowers. I'm not always attacked by two shirtless men, but when I am, 
Now I f you. That is it for today. Uh, big thanks to Ray for letting us host the thanks, show Ray. while he's recording his album. I have been Jordan Peele. And I have been Keegan-Michael Key. And we are still Key and Peele. Yes. Uh, check out our show, 10.30 on Wednesdays, Comedy Central. Right after South Park. And we're always online at ComedyCentral.com. Right now, mm -hmm. you can click here to watch one of our sketches. It basically explores what happens when I introduce Keegan to the world of dubstep music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, okay, you, bye. Oh my god, sorry about that, see you later. Right, let's get out of here, Jamie. Okay. Jammies, chicken and jammies, jammies, jammies are the Jam one, one for me. Please support cancer research. Thank you. Are you crying right now? A little bit. You're crying. You're actually, you're actually crying. It's a dodgeball, man, Detroit, y'all. No, Detroit. this has nothing to do with Detroit. Detroit in the house, man. Miguel Cabrera, what's up? This has nothing to do with Detroit. Why do you always get emotional about sports? It has nothing to do with your Detroit! Home. All right. I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm saying it. What is wrong with you?